Hello guys, Broken here, and I am going to show you how to motion track 3D text onto a Call of Duty video. And it's gonna look a little something like this. Um, the two programs you'll need are Bushu 4 and Sony Vegas 10. Well, the first thing you want to do is create a new folder and call it something like Sequence or Seek, I don't know. And get yourself a cinematic something like this. One that's like really smooth, smooth cinematic. Well, the first thing you want to do is open up Sony Vegas and then import your cinematic. You want to... You want to look that the frame rate is 30, or else it will not work proper. So you want to change the frame rate to 30. Then you want to render out the clip, but you're gonna not render it as a video file. You're gonna render it as an image sequence. So you'll press image sequence and JPEG. Locate the folder, the sequence folder, and click save. It won't take long to render out, but yeah. You go. Then we won't need Vegas anymore. We have all these pictures in our sequence folder. Well, now what you'll do is open up Buju, and you're gonna click Import Sequence. You're gonna locate the folder which will be on your desktop in the sequence folder. You're gonna select the first picture, click Open, and then click Apply. Okay. Close. Now, you'll see that we have the images all in the program, ready to be like motion tracked. You're gonna press here, track features, and just play, press all frames, it will be selected, and press start. This will take maybe a minute, not even, a few seconds, and I'm gonna cut the video back when it's done. Alright guys, once you have that, you'll see all these like little red dots. Those are good. You want to press camera solve, press all frames, and optimize camera smooth pathness. Press start. This will take like 5 to 10 seconds. It doesn't take very long. Alright, here you go. Now you have all these yellow and blue dots motion tracked to the footage. You can see that they're motion tracked. Well, now what you want to do is you want to go to scene, scene you want to go to a middle, like like press the middle pretty much of your cinematic or your video track and then you want to press scene geometry you want to add coordinate from hint and go to z axis you want to press control and well first you want to select the one dot then you want to press control and select another dot going like this see how I selected these two dots you want to select like some somewhere on the ground that are like this path then you want to press connect the two selected. Then it says two tracks connected. Now you want to add another coordinate. And you want to press the X axis, which will be like this. You want to press the first dot again without. Well, I guess I'll select this one. And then you press control again and select the second one. And connect two selected. Now you want to press add another coordinate. And you want to press origin and just like select somewhere one in the middle like I guess you can select this one only one only one dot though connect to selected and then press update coordinate frame you can close this well now you can it, I don't know it, it, this is the trick part, tricky part like the geometry you have to like get it right well here I'm gonna add a test object oh this looks pretty good and then you just press add test test object and you'll see if it's like on the ground this looks pretty pretty good actually and then you can go to like 3d view and you can like hold shift I forgot hold shift and look at the thing it looks pretty good it's not bad this is pretty good yeah I think I'll use this then you wanna go export export um, camera solve you wanna export it as a cinema 4d file and then you want to press scale by scene by 100. Don't f this is the one of the most important parts. Press scale scene by 100. Yeah, and then press save. 
Oh, I forgot. You can. You have to save it here. Sorry. Export it to the desktop. I guess we'll call it Untitled Project. Save. Okay. Now you can exit out of that, and then we'll have a Cinema 4D file. Open it up. Oh, I totally forgot. You also need Cinema 4D for this. Sorry about that. We'll open up Cinema 4D. We'll wait for it to load up. Here you go. And then scale. It should be 10. Press OK. Now you should have this. Well, now we're going to create a background. Now click this. And click background. Now you want to add a new material. Add new material. Double click it. Um, uncheck the specular. And go to texture. Click this. And load image. Now you want to go back to the sequence. In the sequence folder. Right here. And press the last picture. Right here. Open the last one. This, I don't, you can press no for this, it doesn't really matter. Then double click the picture. Go to anim, no, yeah, go to animation. And calculate, press calculate. And it will get all the frames in. Now you can exit out of that. And drag this up into the background. Now you see we have the background. See? It's perfect. Now, what you want to do is add a, let's say a text. Just add a fucking little text saying toot for tutorial. <laughs> I don't know. And then you can like make it bigger. I guess, yeah, we'll make it bigger. Make it like 400. Alright. And then we'll put it like right here somewhere. And make the depth a little bigger. Like that. And then you pretty much, you can do whatever you want with the text from there on. And then you can like add effects to it and like, you know, color and stuff. Or like shadows and stuff, or lights. And yeah, that's, that's this. Now you're gonna wanna press here. I'm gonna press output. All frames. Press all frames. Then I'll press save. And locate to your desktop. Name it. Toot. You wanna save it as a quick time movie. And you wanna do, yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Then you close out of this, and you can go ahead and render it. I'll come back when this guy, when this is rendered, or I guess I'll cut the video. All right, guys, now that's done, you can like exit this, and you can minimize Cinema 4D. You don't, we won't need it anymore. You have your movie thing right here. Now you can open up. Vegas again, you can delete this file and you can drag in your new motion tracked file and as you can see the text is motion tracked to the video and now you can like I don't know do whatever with it or render it out and stuff and that's pretty much how to do it guys and you know guys I, guys, I, I would really appreciate it if you guys could like Give me some feedback on my GFX and on my edits, on my OSIS and stuff. Because I try to make them pretty good for you guys. Because, yeah. And another update is that my main channel, Broken Recorder, got hacked a few days ago. And I'm just trying to get some more, like, subs back. Or some subs from that channel. So if you were subscribed to my Broken Recorder channel, please subscribe to this one. It would really help me out a lot. Yeah, so thanks guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.